said, on, on behalf of Ohio Oath Keepers, we welcome all of you to this festivity. Uh, I hope this evening you are enlightened with what you hear, encouraged by those around you. I hope this night, after hearing us all speak, that you become motivated to stand up and move boldly forward with the Ohio Oath Keepers in the manner of which they are moving. I can only pray that the words you hear will convince you to prepare your family, friends, and community for any horrifying time we may all be forced to endure. Those of you who are already part of the organization are earnestly training and preparing for everything that is coming at us. But I want you to know this. We have much more to do, and I fear a short time to do it. The future looks depressing and discouraging. Private reports come in across the nation telling of the corruption to being demonstrated by our government, along with the intimidating acts against the United States by China, Russia, along with other countries and factions. The United States is threatened, poked, and prodded daily. Why a weak president slash king further gives orders to give the coffers of this once rich nation away. There is no longer a need to talk about the enemy being at our gates because the enemy is here and all around us. The enemy is within our cities, in our government, and now in control of many basic necessities we use to sustain life. Our country, this nation, is eroding within. We cannot even petition our government to redress our laws, complain, stand up to, nor do or say anything against what is going on. Because the electing officials of our government will yell, pout, stamp their feet, and have us arrested, jailed, murdered, or black bagged. Our country needs to be what it was. At one time, what was good is now evil. What was right is now wrong. The word of God is mocked throughout the world, but out of all that darkness there is a great light beginning to shine. There are men and women coming together, gathered, like none have ever seen before. Men and women of God and of like minds coming together to create a bond in order that the Republic of the United States may be reestablished as the greatest country in the world. This organization, the Ohio Oath Keepers, established as an organization to secure and protect our families, our communities, and the local law enforcement agencies, along with all first responders, and all who are abide, will abide by us, we are that group. We are coming together. We are a Christian-based organization reaching out with confidence in what we can do. We have a team developed that is growing, one that can secure and protect teaching families and individuals how to survive. Those of my generation must now stand up to the tyrannous actions that enveloped this country. During our watch, my generation's watch, our country became decimated and systematically reduced to its current state. Our group prepares and prays that what they train for, they will never have to use. It is much like buying insurance. If you have to use it, it's there. If you don't use it, you will at least rest with and be assured that it was there. Therefore, it is left up to us and those like us to stand up and step forward. Please understand that whatever we do, it is this country's last chance. Divine providence has brought us together at this time in history for a greater scheme, one which allows this last chance for our country and the survival of future generations, but also allows us to honor God, paying homage for all he's given us. God bless you and thank you. Pastor Sanders will now speak, and that will be good. I want you to welcome him.